Shalom, 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 Israel, Yashara, people of the Most High, people of the Book. Uh, I wanted to uh, share something on my mind here, and uh, Israel, Yashara, people of the Book, we got a lot of problems. <laughs> we have a lot of problems, brothers and sisters. Um, man, I mean, where do we begin, right? And I know somebody probably saying, brother, uh, why don't you just be positive? Okay. Uh, well, hey, I, I believe that we need to address things if we want to get better. And um, so by addressing the things, it's not being negative. It's just basically trying to get to, to the bottom of things. And uh, so... Israel, the problem that we have is we bring a lot of stuff from Christianity into this walk. And I have been guilty of some things that I've done in the past. That's why I'm able to speak because I've been uh, set free from a lot of those strongholds that I had in my Christian upbringing and that I brought into this walk, made my mistakes. So I want to kind of help those of you who are new. Uh, freshly new and maybe you're new within the past five to ten years you're still new um, Israel's still doing a lot of practices like the church you know we got gatherings and we charge people admission fees and registration fees and stuff like that I don't recall us ever having registration fees in any gatherings that we've done way back in the 2000 early 2000s and um Every gathering I've gone to with no registration fee, there was no uh, pre-registration fee, none of that. I mean, people came in and they they brought uh, things to the feast day. Everybody had something. Everybody brought a dish, things of that nature. It wasn't no ticketed type situation. So how are we going to celebrate Yah's feast days? And we got all these uh, extravagant. Uh, places that we're renting and so to for us to be able to have these functions we are assessing people to come to a gathering right that's a practice that we need to drop right uh, another thing that's on my mind is as far as to Israelites um, everybody uh, we have a, a, a syndrome going around in Israel where everybody feels like that they're right and everybody else is wrong right so we got to get rid of that mentality because that's another thing that's causing problems in Israel. Everybody wants to be right. And it's nothing wrong with wanting to be right, but when you're making everybody else wrong, when you're right at everybody else's expense, that's really dangerous. You know, um, is it possible that other Israelites may have some understanding of some things that you think that you got, got it all together? Yes, it's very possible, right? So we need to uh, uh, um, come to the place where we look at someone else and esteem them better than we esteem ourselves when it comes to uh, their, their thoughts and processes. Don't be so proud that we can't acknowledge that somebody else educated or taught us something, right? I can learn from everybody, even the brand new babes in this walk, right? You don't have to be a moray for me to learn from you. I mean, I learn, we learn from each other because we're Israel, you know, we're the people of the book. Uh, another thing is uh, I, I wanted to address is that we've got to lose this self-righteous mentality, Israel. I mean, we're not going to be able to to, to uh, reach our family and loved ones if we have a self-righteous mentality. And I used to be guilty of that many, uh, many moons ago. Um, and um, most I had to deal with me about my self-righteousness and to allow Israel to develop and to grow at the pace that the Most High has ordained them to grow in, right? Uh, other thing is, is that um, we think, we have a tendency to think that numbers is an indication of success or uh, Yah's hand being upon us, right? And let's not go into that thought process because it says even in Revelation the, the, the text 
in Revelation says that Satan deceived the whole world, right? So just because you got a lot of people following you and a lot of people that subscribe to your channel and et cetera, et cetera, I've had somebody comment to me, you know, brother, you only get a lot of hits when you talk about um, Omar Tabo. <laughs> but see, here's the thing. That person that commented that is basically showing their stupidity, right? For me to make mention about Omar Tabo, it's not, it had nothing to do with me trying to get hits, but um, just using his name as a headliner because a lot of people coming into the walk was stumbling across him and they need to know that he is not the only person that that knows that we're Israel and we've got to this other another problem we got Israel is we got a revival going with identity and a lot of people think their salvation is coming in them knowing they're Israel you have woefully been deceived think that because you know you Israel that means you got a green card you're getting into the land nope that's not what's going to get us into the land our forefathers that was thrown up out of Israel was thrown up out of there and they knew they were Israelites and as a matter of fact the people that came out of Egypt all died in the wilderness because they knew they were Israelites they knew they were Israelites by blood and Israelites by covenant those that married into Israel right because we do have some that married they're not actually physical bloodline descendants of Israel they're married into into the family to the covenant right it's like in these last days there are going to be people that's going to marry into the covenant right but uh, they all died in the wilderness didn't make it to the promised land why because they did not obey they didn't have an obedient heart they were full of hatred right we just got finished celebrating uh, Pesach unleavened bread and we got people still got leaven in in the camp right um we got to do better israel we really got to do better because you know um yah is looking at us right we trying to a lot of us are trying to build names for ourselves and trying to trying to use the internet to get money we got everybody got websites now and got patron accounts and uh, uh, GoFundMe accounts, and we collect the money to make a living off of and doing just like the church is people using, making merchandise out of uh, the, the word the most high that he gave us to share. Right? So it's a lot of things that, uh, that we need to we, we need to um, to fix Israel. We gotta fix, we, we gotta change a lot of our attitude you know, towards each other. You know, if you're not from my camp you know we don't have nothing to do with you, right? So we got we, we got a lot we got a lot of of um, issues that we got to correct as a people. If we're going to make it. And the other piece that I wanted to say was the Most High have been constantly putting on my heart. Stop looking for the masses to come in, come in this walk, right? That's the reason why some people don't want to let go of a lot of the Christian. Uh, ways because they, we trying to win the loss, right? It's not your job to win the loss. Yah said that he's going to uh, preserve a remnant. That's the thing we got to remember. It's a remnant first. The great harvest comes later on, but before the great harvest is going to be the remnant of the Most High that's going to come in and praise Yah and, and prayerfully you know, you and I are going to be part of that remnant. We're already part of that remnant. And so if, if we don't cancel ourselves out. The Most High uh, said to one of the prophets that he said uh, that there would be a great falling away. And uh, the man of sin would, would, would be revealed. And I think what's happening um, what's happening now in, amongst a lot of these Israelite camps is that a lot of people are falling away. Just like the, 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 um, the Sha'u, I think it was, that said it. It'd be a great falling away. So Israel is falling away by the, by the truckloads, right? And so we fall falling away. And this is the last thing I want to share. And I'm going to end this, but I'm going to want to do a, a lesson um, this Shabbat prayerfully. But um, I recorded and put it up on the channel. But um, we just celebrated the New Year. 
right? And so we have a lot of different variations of people who have various different concepts of what the new year uh, represents and how do we calculate the new year. And so those that don't keep it the way they keep it are, are serving Satan and they've been deceived by the wicked one because they're keeping it a different way than what we're keeping it. We got to stop that, Israel. That's nonsense. That's foolishness, right? Okay. We got to swallow our pride. I, I, I am of the mind now that, you know, even if I know I'm right and I know somebody else means well and they are dead wrong, right? And they're trying to, they're trying to keep the, the, the feast. You know what? I'm going to support that person. I'm going to be right there with them, right? And if they have any questions for me, they want to know uh, what my thoughts about uh, 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 how they've come about to, uh, to, uh, um, to accept the, that this is the new year. I'll share my thoughts, not in a, a judgmental way or in, a, in an attackful way, but in the way of, of which what the Mohai, Most High, excuse me, share with me to share how I came about with the knowledge of the feast days. So I'm going to do a lesson. So I want you to be, be on the lookout for it. Uh, my lesson is going to be on the subject of the Enoch calendar, the 364 days, right? Because that's something that's big, that's populating pretty 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 large and this making a division amongst Israelites and uh, many of those that keep the 364 day calendar have demonized other people who keep the calendar based on the month of Abib or, or other other means that of, of um, calculating the, the feast days so I'm going to do that lesson and prayerfully the Most High will uh, bring another level of understanding to us all, to myself as well as all I've done some research on the subject matter. I'm not going to talk about my thoughts now because I want to save that for the video. But, um, um, yeah, I had some thoughts and uh, I was tug of war with some things. And then the most high brought some clarity on some things. And so I'm going to talk about that in that lesson. So I pray that you all have a blessed Shabbat as we approach the Shabbat. If I don't get uh, to do the video before the Shabbat, you know, you have blessed Shabbat. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Shalom, shalom, shalom.